How Israel is putting its kamikaze drones to use in Syria. Israeli warplanes have launched hundreds of strikes on targets in Syria since the start of the civil war. Under the circumstances, it's difficult to judge the Panzer's effectiveness given the extent of the force leveraged against it by experienced and well equipped Israeli forces. In the coming months, Syria may eventually activate long range S 300 surface to air missile systems, which may impose additional risks and costs on Israeli strikes. On January, Iranian, Syrian, and Israeli forces unleashed a hail of missiles upon each other in what is becoming yet another flare up of violence along the Syria Israel border. The recent raids may reveal improvements to Syria's air defense forces due to ongoing Russian training and weapons transfers. However, they also reveal Israel's continuing ability to defeat, including through likely use of kamikaze drones. The succession of tit-for-tat attacks apparently began with the launch of a Fateh 110 short-range ballistic missile by the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps, targeting an Israeli ski resort on Mount Hebron in the Golan Heights. As the solid-fuel rocket blazed towards to the snowy mountain, it was intercepted and destroyed by two missiles from the Israel Iron Dome air defense system. Prior to Russia's intervention in 2015, intervening IRGC troops played a critical role in rescuing Bashar al-Assad's faltering regime. In response, Israeli warplanes have launched hundreds of strikes on targets in Syria since the start of the civil war. Despite frequently encountering Syrian anti-aircraft fire, only a single Israeli F-16 has been lost, shot down in February 2018 by an S-200 surface-to-air missile. That year alone, the IDF struck targets in Syria with over 2,000 missiles.